finally, before you leave, uh, April 15th, I'm having a special show with Nikki Sherman, Beth Karras, and Susan Constantine on the tenure of uh, Scott Peterson of uh, getting voted uh, death. Uh, before you uh, sign off, can you give me a, a quick minute on your feelings of Scott Peterson 10 years later? Well, 10 years later, I think that, you know what, he uh, absolutely committed a, a heinous crime. Uh, you know, there are ways to deal with people that we don't like, and that is you don't want to talk to people, you don't have to talk to them. If you don't like your wife, you don't like your husband, then, you know, there's a judicial process where you could extinguish the marriage and you guys go your merry ways and your wife lives happily ever after, and hopefully you do too. But about murdering people, you know, there are consequences to that. And particularly when you engage in the narcissistic behavior he engaged in and the arrogant behavior in pretending he had nothing to do with it and having, you know, and look, you know, the fact that he had extramarital issues or affairs or whatever, that's his business. I'm not passing judgment on him, but I am passing judgment on the fact that, you know what, he's a murderer. And I think the jury found that. And ultimately, he has to be held accountable for what he did. And in the event that you want to have your extramarital relations or do whatever you do, you know, he shouldn't be killing his wife over it. Um, so the realities are is that he he, uh, he has to pay the price, and that, that's the bottom line. Fortunately, we have a judicial process that holds people accountable, and you know what? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But he certainly was held accountable by the jury. And a lot of the testimony of uh, Amber Fry, I think, also helped uh, convict him. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. 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 And, you know, it's, it, there are people who, you know, would, would certainly criticize our judicial system and juries. And as I started off by saying, you know, sometimes jurors get it right, sometimes they don't. But I think on balance, we have a, an excellent system. It's designed to to weed out the facts and to ultimately establish what the truth is of the matter. And the truth is, is that, you know, he's a cold-blooded killer. So 10 years later, 20 years later, whatever it is, unfortunately, uh, you know, you, you just can't settle your differences that you have with someone, whether they be predicated upon love, uh, whether they be predicated upon lack of love, respect, lack of respect, you can't settle your differences with killing them. You, you settle them with, you know, perhaps staying away from them and letting them live their lives freely and fully and you living yours. And Joe, 